Hey guys, welcome to Double Chen Show. It's Mike Chen. Dan Chen here. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram for a lot of cool more Chenness. Yes. Is that a word? Chenness? It should be a word. It should be Chen-ness. a word. Um, today we wanted to discuss an article we found called 11 Silly Ridiculous Signs That Might Mean You're In Love. Okay. Okay, first of all, can I just get rid of ridiculous? Because there's nothing about signs that you're in love that's ridiculous. It could be a little silly. I don't think they're ridiculous. I think, yeah, I don't know. Maybe let's, uh, maybe they are. (laughs) Love Love is is not ridiculous. This is what we're going to comment on you guys about and uh, I could tell already that Mike and I are going to have a quite differentiated All right, all right, let's let's, let's get into it. Number one, he or she frustrates the living heck out of you and yet you're still, you still tolerate him slash her. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, because, I mean, I, look, that's definitely true. Are when you, are you someone, relating to that somehow? I'm definitely relating to that. Um, Like, I'm not, look, look, look. Are you relating to this? No, no, no. Is she watching right now? She never, my girlfriend never frustrates the living heck out of me. Okay. I'm thinking, because I frustrate the living heck out oh, of her. Oh, that's and a I good know, move. And I know that she tolerates me. Uh-huh. Therefore, I know that she loves me. Okay. Cause I'm, I'm, you do frustrate the I heck out of her. Every time we're together, we're all hanging out. She's like, "Look, why do I date you?" I do a lot of stuff. I'm, you know, I'm boneheaded sometimes. I lack common you, sense. You know, a lot you of melt stuff. her rice cooker once. I, I, I break her stuff. I break everything in the house. Yet she still tolerates me. You know, she's never frustrated the living heck out of me. But I would say, if this happens uh-huh. to either party, I think they're in love. Can I, can I also play devil's advocate on okay. this? Okay. Um, I think it, it does. It does say to the fact that you do love a person if they can do things that uh, frustrate you, yeah. and you still love them. But I think there is a degree, a limit, yeah. because this could also mean like if someone is frustrating you so much that like you know it's becoming unhealthy. It's becoming an unhealthy right. relationship. Right. right. And. Yeah, you still tolerate him or her. Right. Uh, that might be, you know, more than love. That just might be like, I don't know, yeah, like, blindness. Yeah, it yeah. might be I, a little I, over. Yeah, doing I, it. I would say uh, what I would categorize this as is like, for example, um, there's ha- there's habits that sh- she hates, but, right? And you're trying, but right. again, probably looking on myself, right? Um, but you do them, and ah, uh, just mm, like sometimes you just make me angry, right. like that. Yes, not like. Oh, you you're really um, bad to me. Right. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. You're this. Yeah. You're making this relationship into no. or someone in the relationship is making this relationship toxic. Right. No. Can't do that. Right. Like for example, some people you know are in a relationship and something major happens, like right. an affair, right. and then they stay together no. or something. Uh, that's a sign. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You still obviously you still love this person. But that relationship is becoming toxic. It's right. not. I think this is more like sweet and cute. Like, oh, you're frustrating me because yeah. you don't take out the garbage. Yeah, uh, but, but I still love you. But that could. Re- that that's what I'm saying. Like stuff like that happens, and and that stuff can really make a girl mad. Right. Like you're you're too messy. You don't uh-huh. take out the trash. What you don't. You don't. Uh, actually, I do all of that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I okay. actually do all of that stuff. It's other stuff. You know, okay. you keep breaking my stuff. Okay. You know. Yeah. No, I, I no, I agree with that. Like, there's there's definitely. Uh, things that you would have been dumped right now if it wasn't because the person had feelings probably, for you or, or something like that. Probably. Or, or not you specifically, but anybody. But, yeah, anybody. Right. right. Number two, it doesn't matter what you're saying. Okay, this they're talking about like... You could talk about anything. Yeah. Uh, like, you, you could talk about anything. You could talk about n- absurd names for a dog and you will still remember the conversation. Because I agree with that. Uh, what else do they say? If two of you are talking, it's always amazing no matter what it's even, even if it's at 3 a.m. Yes. Um, it, okay. It's not like it's the best thing ever. That's mm-hmm. like in the be- This is okay. You gotta, you gotta put this in perspective. Mm-hmm. There's a period of time if you're really, uh, if you're dating the person mm-hmm. and, you're, and you're really into them. Mm-hmm. We'll call it the infatuation period. Okay. At that point, that whatever you're talking about it doesn't matter. Right. You're both just into each other. But what I think this part they're referring to is later on. You're just you can both talk to each other. Like it's not like you you have nothing to say anymore. Mm-hmm. I would actually say if you are really in love with each other, um, you can actually stand the silence. Yep, I agree with that too. Because Definitely. that's hard. Definitely. Silence is hard. Silence you ever, you ever done hardest, that when you're like yeah. dating someone and all of a sudden yeah. the conversation ends and you're you, you can't think of a single thing to say in your head right. and all of a sudden it becomes like, ooh, this silence sounds really loud. Right. 
If you're at that point, ooh, you haven't got to the point where you really know the other person. Right, exactly. So actually, I, I think that's a great point. Um, I would even add it to this one, which is like, it doesn't matter what you're saying, dot, 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 but if there's nothing being said at all, it's totally okay. Are you at that point? Do you, have, you, have you been? Yeah. Absolutely. You guys can just sit around and be yeah, like, no, we don't need to talk. We're just uh, kinda... Most of the time, she tells me to shut up. <laughs> like, you're, like, most of the time, she's like, you, stop talking. Like, I, I stop talking. So um, I get that. You know, I talk a lot. I'm uh, very energetic. Yeah, I'm, you I'm are. I'm like a little puppy that just yeah, runs yeah, around yeah. and just can't, like, yeah. relax. Like, the only time I'm relaxed or, like, I'm out is, like, if I'm not feeling well. Right. Even then, I'm, like, I'm like. Can, can I also say why I also agree with this yeah. um, a lot? Because um, when you really love someone and the feeling is mutual, whatever, uh, you, you would just mention random stuff. Yeah. You talk about random stuff. Yeah. Like, uh, you know, send out messages about, you know, uh, hey, look what I ate today. Like, is that really a conversation? Not really. Right. Look what I ate today. Uh, let's talk about that. Was right. it good? Oh, it was great. Was right. it spicy? No. You know, just like mundane <laughs> conversations like yes. that. But you have them and you enjoy them. Yes, you're definitely in love right. because it's just it's it's just different, right? You like, know what I do love though. Sorry, what's that? No, I, I love three a.m. conversations. I don't because why not? Because if I'm because I want to go to sleep it, unless I'm traveling. Because to me, no. like let's just save it for tomorrow. Like, what do you mean three a.m. No, 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 no. Okay, this. This is saying, this is saying that this is pretty much this, saying it's in the beginning stages of love, right? Signs okay. that you might be in love. This, so if, let's say like, let's say you wake up and you had a nightmare at 3 a.m. Right. And you, uh, you call the, the person that, you know, that you're dating or were in right. a relationship with. And right. then, you, then you get in conversation, get into a conversation at 3 o'clock in the morning. It's spontaneous. You, know, you would never expect it. Sure. But you just enjoy that conversation sure. at 3 o'clock in the morning. Sure. Okay. That's what it's saying. Okay. I, 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 I got you. Know you. What? All right. I like I that. All I right. like that. All right. I'm I'm kind of just in a different school where like, yo, man, I'm, like, I want to go to bed. Yeah, I want to go to bed. So it, it's I'm lucky because you know my significant other like we're, we don't like it's like, dude, if we're talking on the phone, it's like 11, and we're both like, dude, I got to work. Then I say, love you, love you, bye. Like we're not gonna be like, oh my god, are you that? No. <laughs> if I called her at 3 a.m. <laughs> that gonna, would be a problem. I'm gonna problem. give you guys a tidbit insider information here. Why this guy is so in love? I'll tell you guys right now. His voice changes. Dude, where everyone he, does that. He, no one does that. Everyone. I've never does seen that. a single person in my life that does that. Like no joke. Dude, dude His, haven't you seen funny things on the internet where guys talking to bros? What up, bro? Girlfriend calls. Oh, hey, honey. That's ubiquitous. Oh, no, 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 sir. Every man no, no, does no, no, that. No, 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 sir. There's the whole. Hey, bro. Hey, what's up, honey? Yeah. And then yeah, there's yeah, yeah. you. No. Then there's no, you. No, that's me right there. Hey, that's bro, what's you. up? Hey, honey, what's up? Uh, oh, no, yeah. No, no, no. Oh, that's I'm not with you. my guy friends right oh, now. Oh, that's yeah, not you. Talk. Oh, no, sir. I have video. I have audio recording to prove it, and that's not you. I'm not going to show anybody. <laughs> oh, uh, but, <laughs> but, no, this oh, guy man. is so in love, his voice changes when his girl calls. So that's It's just because it cracks. So you know, it, I'm, I'm, like, dr I'm drinking something. Yeah, so I want to add that to the list in the middle of the list. Uh, okay, number three, you'll make your life harder for him or her. Absolutely true. Yeah. Absolutely true. You start doing things that will be so inconvenient for you, but you do it because you love someone. Right. Um, this, is, this is an interesting one, though. Yes. Okay, um, because sometimes, all right, like, I, of course, like, it's inconvenient. Like, right. We'll definitely do it, if the, if, especially for the guys. Right. Like, I'll... Man, like, yeah. I will like take a subway all the way to your house. Yeah. I will drive you home. I will yeah. walk you home. I will no. I don't care if I get home at four a.m. Right. Like I'll make sure you're home at yes. six. So I definitely agree with that. And you do that. Yeah. Yes. But I guess that's what it's referring to because I, I first thought of like, all right, if it's like a if it's a long distance relationship. No, 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 that's no, no, harder. No. Especially yeah. when you're like sort of like just fell in love with someone. Yeah. You 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 want to see them as much as possible. Definitely, definitely. So you're willing to do. Like you know, a lot of things are completely inconvenient. Right. It's saying you're 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 willing to overcome right. inconvenience. And we both done yeah. that. We both done that. Like we yeah. we we had a conversation with our other friend too, who's also done that, and we kind of laugh at ourselves oh, for man. doing all that, yeah. but we still do it. But we were in love. Yeah. So that's what guys do. You that's know? what guys that's do. That's what guys do. Oh, if you meet a guy who wouldn't do that, <laughs> oh, he's not. Oh, no. He ain't. If he's like, nah, why don't you take a cab and come meet me? 
uh, bad candidate for a yeah, future husband right just there. Don't. If the guy's willing to sacrifice yeah. and do stuff for yeah. you, that's what you should be looking for. I've talked to a lot of girls where they're like, yeah, he would always make me take up. Yeah, and I go, crazy. I, and I literally tell them, I go, what? There are so many men out there. And what? How did you get roped into dating this yeah, guy? Exactly. Exactly. Oh, my God. Anyways. Number four, you're willing to run errands with him or her. All right, that's given. That's given. Because you actually would enjoy running errands with him, with him or her. Let me tell you something. When th For me, I, I'm, I'm a rare exception to this. There is no such thing as errands for my girl and me. Like, there's no such thing as errands because, to me, I, if she goes to buy makeup, I get to spend time with her. Exactly. So, guy, a lot of times, and you, I don't know, how do you feel about that? No, no, no. I, I, I see you. It, no, I see it as well as spending time okay, with the person. Okay, so we're in the same boat. Right. We're in the same boat. But we're not normal in that case because most guys, and, and the, for a good reason, most guys would hate going well, I think, shopping with a girl. Well, this is, the, again, this article is talking about the initial signs when you think you're in love. Right. So in the beginning, if the guy isn't willing to go with you to places right. like, like oh, look, I've been inside Victoria's Secrets. Uh, I've been inside uh, of... I've, um, I've been a literal walking yeah. uh, clothes hanger. Yeah. Oh, just the, walking around like oh, this. You go shopping with your girlfriend, you're the clothes hanger. Right. I've been, I would carry like clothes. Can, like, I, can I tell you a funny yeah. story? I was, I was shopping, uh, me and my, oh, like a girl I dated a long, long time ago. Right. Um, so we were shopping at, at some place mm -hmm. and I'm literally a mummy walking around right. like this and I'm walking, right? right? And all of a sudden I see another guy around the corner. <laughs> He's doing the same thing and we see each other. I've never seen this guy before in my life. We see each other and we're like, yeah, <laughs> it's just like keep on walking. Yeah. Yep, you give each other the the look, the look like yep. yep. But here, this is why I would go one further. Okay, a guy should definitely do that for you. Sure, that's I a agree. basic. Yes, but when it becomes love more than infatuation, and you really have a future, is when like I genuinely enjoy the times. Like, do you think I want to go to Sephora? Why do I? Why do I go? Well, me, I mean, there's I buy yeah, some you, skin you stuff. Yeah, you buy stuff from Sephora. But okay, so Sephora is not a good example. Victoria's Victoria Secret, Secrets. Isn't that, you're um, not getting anything. What are you getting at Victoria's Secrets? No, I'm not getting anything. Okay, but, so Victoria's Secrets, you're going purely for her. Yeah, no, but no, I'm talking about other like just strictly shop like Ann Taylor, for example. Like you're just going into a woman's clothing shop. I don't even know what that is. That, okay, like I genuinely enjoy spending. Every single t she's like, hey, babe, I, I love it when she's like, I need to because you know, oh, here's the thing. You, you are a fashion fiend. Uh, so you you actually you do. You would be like, oh, if you take this uh, color, uh, this scarf. I know we, we push that aside. Just uh -huh. other stuff like I, she, she's like, I need to make some copies. I need to go get some uh, stuff for the house. I, I'll, I'll, if I'll go. I'll pick it up for you or let's go together. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, this, so spending time with each other doesn't always mean each like other. eating dinner or something exactly. else. Exactly. Right. I agree with that. Right. Number five, you can talk about your. <laughs> you can talk about your bodily functions around her. You cannot. No, that video we made about poop. Yeah. We got a lot of comments about that. Yeah. Both ways. Yes. More towards your way, which is yeah, I want to be able to be like yeah, I had a giant deuce in the morning. It was like Mount, Mount Puji. Puji. If you don't know what Mount Puji is, just think about it for a second, okay? No, I can't. Doesn't mean I love you less. Just the, our pers her personality on right. that end. Yeah. Never talk about poop with her. It's I think ever. Well, I think what this thing is, is saying is, is it's a degree of comfort level. Just, but it's a comfort. But yeah. some girls they, they just don't want to have that conversation sure. ever and, because and then that's done. Yeah, some girls you know some girls they don't poop exactly. and they don't fart. So they don't fart and they don't poop. So you know if you date one of these girls then you can't talk about it. Right, and it's, exactly, it's not a big deal, you know. Um, but yes, if I talk about poo, um, I would like it if my so. <laughs> enjoys that conversation right. that's and, all and you guys can let, let me I, just, I forgot to ask you this question yes. earlier would you ever go as far like you guys get so comfortable would yeah. you ever like um do things like the dutch oven on what her? does that mean dutch oven is like let's say uh let's say like you know you wake up next to each other uh -huh. and then you fart and you purposely pull the covers over your nah mate. that's 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 weird okay because we have friends that <laughs> said they we do that. Uh, I don't consider that right, funny. Right, 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 okay. Why is so, that funny? So would you do that? No. Yeah. That's I not wouldn't either. Funny. That's not fun. I, but we have friends, couples, yeah. that both are like, yeah, we do that to each other. Yeah, that's... that's I'm like... I don't want to... No, you guys are too I can, I love talking about yeah. it. I yeah. don't want to actually... Put them... You see, you, me and you don't actually want to put them through uh, bad situations. Right. But I guess... But poo stories are funny. Yeah. I got like five really good poo stories. Oh, yeah. 
Hey, we might tell it in the. In I want to tell you. It's so bad. At the meetup, you don't want to tell. Oh, it. meetup! Oh, I don't know. Okay, don't if you're coming to the meetup, you can ask me. I'll, I'll decide if I want to spill. Yeah, we'll see the ratio of guys yeah. to girls in the audience and see. Number six, even with uh, even just two minutes is worth it. Definitely, 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 oh, that's nice. definitely, definitely. I like that. I, I like this one because um, this shows that hey, yeah, hey, hey, really hey, nice. uh, you're really important to me. I just I can't talk right now. Because this is what this is what they're saying. This is when uh, they're saying your SO or mm -hmm. newly girlfriend boyfriend calls you and say, "Hey, I can't talk, but I just want to know I'm thinking about you, and I just want to say good night." Okay, I gotta add this. This one we just did a video. Uh, it might not. Are we gonna publish that? I don't know. Okay, we did another video about things that women can do to stick out amongst yeah, other women. Sure. That's one of the number one things you can do is let. Because guys, we're not. We don't want to talk to you for five hours on the phone, or why not? Uh, I'm just saying, like you know, most guys. But acknowledge us. Acknowledge our. You know, be like, hey, I, just if it's like you know, so many times you text somebody and uh, sometimes they ignore you. Yes. And but you're in a relationship. Yes. And you're like, why aren't you kinda, texting me back? Yeah, like you're like, and then if they're you know like if they're really that busy, just at night it means a lot. If they're like, hey, I'm so sorry, like my day was insane. I'll t and of course you're gonna be like, oh, tell me about it. And she's like, you know, I just wanna, I just wanna go to bed or whatever. But just that phone call is would just like make my day whole better. Okay, so I agree um, with that. All right, yeah, I, I do like that stuff. I like it because it shows that uh, they're thinking about you. Exactly. And that's all we need, really need. Exactly. We don't need much, bro. We, we don't, don't need much. Need much. And also, text us back right away. <laughs> uh, number seven, he slash she makes you want to yell a lot. What? Why, why is that good? Yell a lot? Yell a yeah, lot. Um, no. No, that's no. just not right. Uh, totally disagree. No. Why would you, any yelling be involved? They're saying that because you feel so important, you, 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 you're comfortable with the other person. You're not afraid of scaring them away. That no, you feel like, something, an issue is so important. Is it an issue? It, or yeah. You feel an issue is so important. Here, here's yeah. I don't agree with this. If you feel an issue is so important, you shouldn't have to yell to right. get it across. That just means that if you're yelling, that means that he doesn't agree with you, and there's a bigger issue. Yeah. Important issues, you should be able to sit down with each other and rationally talk them out like can, adults. Can I just say, yelling is never good for any relationship. Any relationship. Are you kidding me? <sighs> yelling? This is like. What? Why would yeah, you put that here, in there? What? Here's why. When you yell, yeah. yelling is not good for life. Okay. No. When you yell, you actually lost um, a part of yourself. Yeah. Because you, you, your body and your mind is being controlled yep. by something else. It's called irrationality. It's called too many, too much emotion. Mm -hmm. And that's never good for anybody. Um, I like the next one. Okay. The time you waste with him or her doesn't feel wasted. Of I totally agree with that. Right? Totally agree with that. Yeah, that's pretty. Yeah. Given. Exactly. Uh, so we'll go to the next one. You have a lot of questions for him or her. <clears throat> um, this is, I guess, this is my interpretation because the headline, the the, the line is kind of weird. But I guess if that's that's a good thing, you know, anytime they 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 feel they want to share something, they turn to you. Yeah. If that's what it means, that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah. But also, okay, um, I don't agree with it for the pure simple fact that yeah. it's worded weird. It's really worded <clears throat> weird. That's why I mean, <laughs> you got a lot of questions for each other. Yeah. Look. Uh, I think it's just good conversation. It's just good conversation. So, so I don't know about that one. Uh, yeah. Number ten, everything makes you think of him. Yes, yeah, everything makes you think good. of him or her. You had you 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 talked about how a lot of times uh, every day. Okay, it's not just a special occasion. If you're walking down the street, if you go into a store, you see something immediately pops into your head. Would my so like this? Yes. I would say absolutely. absolutely. I still do it. It's been over wherever you two go, years. Yeah. wherever you eat something, whatever you eat something, and she still does it too. Right. My, like know? my, our, our, one of our, like one of our best friends. Right. Um, just yesterday, yeah, uh, he went to our gym, which yeah. is a really nice gym, and right. the gym was giving out like fleeces. Right. And he texted me. He's like, "Oh, it's giving out fleeces." I'm like, "I want a fleece." He texted me. He's right. like, "Oh, well, I got my wife one. I didn't get one from. I didn't, wasn't able to get one for myself. Right. So, that's uh, a... so I didn't even get one myself. I'm like, that's a dude." Who's like, you know? Yeah. He, he, it's a gym fleece. It's a gym. <laughs> but he's like, I think my wife will like this. So yeah. he just gets, gets one for his wife. Yeah. I got, last time we I got one yep. for my girlfriend. You just didn't have one at the time, but you would have gotten, you know, one of the eight shirts you got. You would have definitely given one or two Absol of them. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh Absolutely. Oh, gosh. 
Um, Definitely. Next one is he slash she scares the crap out of, out you. of you. Okay, yeah. so basically what they're saying is that you're entering into the love phase. Yeah. And you know this person could destroy you. Yes. Because you're so in love with this person. You don't know what happens if you break up with exactly. the person. Exactly. Yeah, I mean. You feel that? Uh, no. I feel like, um. <laughs> I feel like people, it would be really bad. Anytime, a, I, here, here's, here's how I feel. Yeah. You should never put yourself in a situation where, like, you're like, if I broke up, I don't know what's going to happen. Right. Like, because that's just bad for your life. Okay? Like, life happens. You can't control what happens. So, you can't. So, it's great that you don't want to lose this person. I think that's, that's, very, that's uh -huh. a great sign. You don't want to lose them. And yes, it's gonna suck if you break up with them, but you don't wanna be like, I'm so scared to lose this person. Right. Because that is when you get into dangerous territory with your life. Then you start questioning everything. You're like, you, does he really love me? Right. Or does she really love me? Um, exactly. You start making decisions based on them. Yeah. Look, it's, it's. I need a fallback plan. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, it's gonna, it's, it does it, I kind of agree with that, and uh -huh. that does it scare me, mm -hmm. but. I'm not about to be like hysterical mm -hmm. over it, but does it scare me? Of course, a lot of things scare me. I'll, I got one, one okay. additional sign. You could be surrounded by the most beautiful women in the world, or your lady, you're surrounded by the most perfect Abercrombie Fitch models in the world, or whatever. Right. You're not thinking about anything else besides your SO. Definitely. That's I would agree with a that. huge sign. I would agree with huge that. Huge sign. I would agree with that. I would agree with that. So. All right, guys, let us know if you have any other signs of being in love in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Peace. See you later.